is up you clowns back again yet another episode i made sure i checked this time this will be episode 018 zero episode 18 of the this is all that matters <laughs> podcast your host charlie green at nauseum and my esteemed colleague as always little miss homemaker Special decisions. That's, That's it. Don't. I don't know if I, I like that nickname. <laughs> what sure. is it, little? I have little, a. What's the homemaker? homemaker. No, nope. doesn't doesn't right. doesn't fit. It doesn't work for me. Mm. You know, you, and you, as you get older, you can say those things. You just tell people when uh, you don't like something. I used to. Just <laughs> I don't accept. like that. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone uh, I'm friendly with here calls me Hambone. What do you think what? of that? What? <laughs> Why? That's a nickname. He was like, I've been working on it. He's like, I've been working on something. What do you think? Hambone. As a <laughs> like, reference okay. to what, though? I don't know. It's just a nickname. I don't think you... The thing about a nickname is it needs to have a reference Makes point. sense. You can't just be like, you look like a garbage receptacle. Like, well, that's, a, that's bar ham. Ham, ham, bar ham, ham bone. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I just don't kill the messenger. I just accepted that nickname. Maybe I shouldn't have, but you know, newer friend. Right. You have thought, to say yes uh, to everything. You don't have to. I am an adult. I just said no to you. But if he called me Little Miss Homemaker, I would have said, you know, you would have said no. <laughs> Much less please appropriate. Don't. Please no. <laughs> Much less appropriate. I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, insulting somehow. I've never been able to ha- like uh, a nickname has never stuck to me. I've never really got a nickname. Like people tried to call me Chuck. I mean, you remember Jed used to call me Chuck. That's which I really first of all, like, you never should have called a black guy Chuck. It's just not right. It doesn't, doesn't fit at all. I mean Chuck like Barkley. Chuck they call for... Charles Barkley Chuck. Anyway, I don't think so. I don't think people really call him that. Hmm. Maybe not as. What was his nickname? Uh, it was Mister something, Sir. The round, Sir mount Charles. Of round mount of rebound, and then people call him Sir Charles. <laughs> Sir, <I think>. Sir, <laughs> Sir, it was Mister something, <laughs> Sir Charles. Yeah, that was Sir weird Charles. too, honestly. Yeah, I think Charles is such an appro- you know such a, it's such a proper sounding name. Um, maybe the Sir. I don't know. I'm not sure. But nobody. I mean, people used to in a very racist way called me Charlie Brown when I was in elementary school, which I didn't like at all. And none of wow. the nicknames that people that say to you. me, I don't like. I don't like it. Yeah. Like everybody yeah. just calls me Charlie. Like like the the name that Josh put on the back of my This is forty shirt was Charlie. That's a, I feel I felt so like I haven't, you know you felt seen? I haven't arrived. When he did that. I haven't arrived. I don't have a nickname. It's just my name. Oh, you felt you felt unseen. Yeah. It's just like I got nothing. You did said, everybody have a name? Like he was Bernie? It felt like other people had names. Maybe not. I don't know. Like ben doesn't have a nickname. Talk about a guy you can't give a nickname to. <laughs> unfixable. <laughs> unfixable. Isn't it not unfixable? <laughs> <laughs> Two people. I thought that we. I. I thought that. No, I thought. I honestly felt bad. Felt like I didn't fulfill my duty to fix everyone. Well, and listen. So you can't. Been, you can't win them all, man. I think. You know, seven out of nine. Pretty good. <laughs> did I? Fi- I did fix you, and I didn't fix myself. What I did. We're not supposed I'm... to talk about. We're not supposed to be too self-referential. Fish said. Oh well. It's... Okay, <laughs> voice of reason. Keep talking about old episodes. The John keeps telling God. me how it's not tight. He's like, it's not, it's not as tight. That's what he said. Well, that's part of our format. I, mean. I think that it's loose. You know, that's not it is loose. We so. loosened up before this. We could have. That would have been some good podcast that we just private, had. Private. That was private. That's a private Sorry. podcast. <laughs> 
inside or no, it's the only person, <laughs> the two people there. Maybe we should make a podcast out of that literally. Um, do people make private things on Spotify? I guess you could. You would know. Pri- private so that only you could listen to it? Well, like maybe it's a, because like once it's on Spotify, it's public. Yeah, but I, you can, there are options. Like you can, I don't think, I think you can remove it from search. This kind of thing. No. You might need to have the link. That's what we could have done for the Becky Ethan debacle. Speaking of, how was, how was, uh, how was Ava's party? Oh, we had a nice time. Uh, okay. Everybody behaved themselves. Oh. Little drinking, little extracurriculars. Delicious food. A plus hosting job by Fish. What are they doing? Moving up the hosting ranking. He had a he had a chef come. Whoa! Make uh, he made too many courses. I was like, yo, this is like an entree again. He Uh made a uh, (laughs) he cooked in the rain. Like this dude was out there. He like Uh built himself a tent and a grill. Cooked out there for hours. Mm -hmm. And made some delicious was it trout and then uh, steak. Okay. Yeah, he was, was a very impressive chef, as all chefs are. Like, kind of like intimidating, like quiet, intimidating. Like you know, he's a complete nutcase. Like he will murder you if yeah. you said the wrong thing. But like, comes <laughs> off as nice initially. I feel like chefs like, inherently are a little crazy. I agree with you. They're a little, you have to be a little crazy to do that because you have to be like high strong. You can't be a slow paced person and be a chef. That's that doesn't work. It's a much harder job than all. all I, we were talking about this actually because I always make this point, but it's just that's a much harder job than most jobs. People just doing bullshit jobs. Almost yeah, everyone. Not- you're doing a job, you're like, did I do well? I had no idea if I did a good job today. <laughs> some people didn't even respond to me. Half the time, I hope people don't respond. I don't care. To me, my job is done when I send an email. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, your job ends up being just, like, covering your own a CYA. It's like, covering your ass. Right. My job is to make sure that nobody can say I wasn't doing my job. That's my job. That's right. Exactly. Archive that email. Refer back to that. I sent it. I sent it on 9 4 you didn't see that? That's, you know who's you doing their job? You know who I found to be doing their job? Devon Achan. Achan, you got it right. I mean, that's it. That's all I do. My job has actually consisted of not Perfect. doing my job and watching Devon Achan highlights. They're only like, they're like eight runs. Yeah. I wanted to all give you some space to, you know, do a little victory lap. A little glow victory. Well, I want to do a victory lap. I didn't, I didn't get any points from him yet, like you said. I, you know, it's just like uh, Puka Naku. I did my victory lap, and I had gotten no points. It's fun to have any, them. Though. HN points. It's fun to Very have. Very exciting. I mean, it's pretty cool when you show up to the NFL and you just get fifty points. Wow! Fifty fantasy points, just like the first time you showed up. They like gave you two touches one week, and then the next week they're like, "All right," and you get fifty. It's very. It, it's reminiscent of Justin Jefferson. It really is. It's like, oh, this guy can't play ahead of this other clown. Uh, oh, you can make up 50. Like, I think Justin <laughs> Jefferson had like 40 his first game, something like that. It was he like, had a lot. He had a lot of, he had a lot of points. His breakout game was, was something like similar. five for like 175 or something. And it was and, like, whoa. Uh, and then you spent 50 bucks on him, I think you did. I don't know why I brought this up. It just gives me every time I you see did. him. <laughs> Is it still hard for you? Yeah. It doesn't go away. I think, you know what I try to do these days? I try to lean in to these difficulties and, you know, sit with it, realize the mistake I made. So it doesn't hurt me as much as these things used to in the past because you yeah, think about it as more much as it. possible. Yeah, just focus you in on it. it. You lean all the way in. You don't bury it inside. You like yeah. you put it right out there and open the top That's of like, your brain. I have trouble with this because I search on Twitter, mm-hmm. you know, all sorts of people. But then you search a name and then you, you let that guy go. Or you yeah. trade him, but then it still pops up when it's like even halfway trending. I think. Yeah. And then you just see it all in your face. You're Sam Laporta. 
Tank Dell. I, I didn't even have Tank Dell in our league, but I had Tank Dell in the other in another league very early. And then you're seeing it's like, and then and sometimes it's like, hope you got Tank Dell. Like that's like, oh, that's hope you got him. Me unfollow you. Hope you had yeah. him. Hope yeah. you didn't Fuck. drop him. <laughs> that's rude. Yeah. <laughs> that's like also, literally Marvin Mims. People. Marvin Mims for me this year. I really should have just left him. Left him. Draft well, him. he didn't actually do anything. Yeah, like he the guy ran like seven routes so far. Yeah, and he scored a touchdown every time. He like basically <laughs> half the times he's had the ball, he scored a touchdown. So it's like, seems like he should play oh. more. That guy. Yeah, yeah. It's like hmm, rocket science. What's going on here? Maybe a guy you want to play. And then Man. I told myself, oh well, I have Jerry Judy, so I can't have him. So that's fine. That's what you <laughs> said. You got to rationalize things. You can't have. I tell you what, yeah. I really wanted the. And I was one pick away, but Willis got him. But I got HN from him, but he got Moster from me. And the truth is, mm. right now, long term, maybe I'm winning with HN because Mostert's 31. Right. Even though he runs like he's 25. Guy is fresh. So fast. But, uh, but Willis got him from me. And that's, you know, Willis is as an RB1 overall. Yeah. RB1. Unbelievable. Wow. What Most yards for carry. All time above both. Well, not Jackson. for long. Not for long, though. HN is going to come for that one. He's oh, got to hit the minimum. 500 baby. attempts. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there. Five attempts. He sounds good. like it. Ooh, over under career. 500 attempts for Devon. Oh, come on. HN is going to get there fast, man. I mean, it's five years. I was just having carries. a debate about, about you know, I don't know. I haven't looked at how many carries he had in college. Like, I was complaining about. Not complaining, but I, you know, I think Tony Pollard. Not to fire any random shots at Ben, but Tony <laughs> Pollard, like, never ever in his life had two fifty, three hundred touches in a season. Never. And if you go back and look at his college, your man had like two hundred fifty touches in his life in college. I feel like that's Brian, better. It, maybe it's better, but you have not shown the ability to Damn carry it. a load. And like, and then everyone talks about how explosive you are. You haven't shown an ability to be explosive in week ten. Yeah, like with by week ten, what two hundred, one hundred and fifty to two hundred touches under your belt. You have not shown that. You're just right. a guy who's like you've been explosive, especially later in the year. But it really is like when there's nothing more deceiving than a running back who hasn't really touched the ball. Coming in, mm. all of a sudden, week 12, you're like, man, that guy looks good. Right. And it's like Samaj P. Ryan. You're like, damn, Samaj P. Ryan is good. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Like, nah. That's not true. <laughs> you got that twisted. Everybody got fooled on that. Yeah. If we had more time, that would have been an easy stay away for me. That was Chase Edmonds 2.0. Oh. It was so clearly not going to work. That just, When the rationale is like – Oh, the coach loves him, and he was good like for three weeks last year, and he's twenty-seven. That's a simple one. Not that he went the, high. Of the same vein, I really would like to touch base on um, Alexander Madison for a minute. We, um, you and I, I think it was offline. I think it was a, the private podcast where we uh, stated how easy it was that this was a trap, um, and that he's absolute garbage. Um, that was Evan Silva. Evan Silva, the Evan Silvers of the world. Um, Evan really Silva can put you in the thing because you know he needs. You to. know he he needs to. We'll see. It hasn't happened all the way yet. Oh, did you see that fumble that they scrubbing. decided not to give him? That was a fumble. He's garbage. I didn't, but I heard about oh, it. Garbage. No, we yeah. should do this. We already talked about this. Don't get ahead of yourself. Recap. Yeah. We did a quarter season recap of the stay away. Yep. I think you know, um, see where my, my stay the fuck away from anybody that Mike Willits has dropped, I think that's looking good right now. I can remember. Not bad. I mean, Travis Kelsey's been good. He's played once. How many games he played? Two, he played two, two games. He scored two touchdowns. Yeah. He's, been He's been fine. Don't trade with Mike Willits because those players will immediately self-destruct. Yeah, I mean this Brian trade. Woof. 
Man, oh man, that's actually maybe the most lopsided one I ever saw, like in action. I mean, going, I mean, not to bring up your trade, but like your trade, I don't know if it immediately three years ago was. Well, I should have just kept Josh like Jacobs. That would have been fine. It would have been fine, actually. Well, it was like two years him. later that Josh Jacobs was, uh, was like the way I he still was. I had him from that trade. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you rationalize however you want to. But, yeah, Brian had about, about 12 points from these three guys. And, and Demonte Adams out here was like a 40-burger. 40, 40, a 40 burger. Just a 40-burger, all people. Feels almost as bad as trading away Keenan Allen before he has 20 targets and a passing touchdown. Almost as bad. Man, that was really quite exciting when once you're getting he's, in on the passing touchdown. He's good. He's a good player. I told you I had uh, I had Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. Mike Williams, RIP. RIP. In my either league. Together. That's got to be – that's got to be maybe a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Mm. You're not He's expecting good. to get that many points from two players who play the same position. On the same team. One yeah, of them throws crazy. to the other. What a what an amazing <laughs> thing. You won the week. You won the week right there. Yeah. That was it, right? Your one receiver throws a touchdown to your other receiver. That's crazy. That yeah, that really was fun, man. How many people? Oh, how, yeah. Should have been it's very special moment Twitter for, for me that. in that league. There's they should. That yeah, that was good. And then Mike Williams died. Man, big uh, Mike. He seems like a nice guy. Nice, sweet guy. It's a shame. Good player. I think he's pretty good. He's not great, but he's good. But he was a good. He was having a pretty solid year. He had 250 yards. Yeah, I don't, there's something. I mean, he's so polarizing, yet he continues to produce. Well, he's produced since Herbert's been there, basically. But yeah, but he obviously gets hurt a lot. The same thing happened. He was, That's what uh, happens when was, you take guys who get hurt. Sean Watson played together in college. Who was who was it? Was it wow, him or Trevor really? Lawrence? Uh, yeah. No, Trevor Lawrence is way younger than he is. So like, then it was like Deshaun, seven years. It was Deshaun Watson. Clemson. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Pretty cool. It's funny to go back and see who was together. There's what no, do you think? Deshaun Watson and Justin Fields? Fields? How do you feel about that tandem heading out, trotting out for you? I feel about that. It's not good. Who has that? Brian. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that, <laughs> who has that? <laughs> Deshaun Watson, like, it looks like sometimes it's like he doesn't know where to release the ball anymore. Like, it comes out in a weird, it, like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? He looks a little He's, slow. Like, yeah. It's like, you know. Man, love you shouldn't take too long off of football. Fields, man, that guy. He, he, you, you got to think maybe he'll bounce back, but yeah, bounce into the tight end room. Situation. He needs to bounce into the slot receiver room. What he needs to bounce into? <laughs> Wait, he can bounce. Do you think he should be a good slot receiver? He would be like you don't remember Terrell Pryor going absolutely ape shit. Like he would be like two point oh. Yeah, well, you remember that. Yeah, thanks, Fish. Shout out Fish for that one, fuck boy. All the people that remember, what nobody remembers, only I do. Fish on Sunday morning via text made fun of me for having Terrell Pryor. I dropped him, and then he proceeded to score thirty, and then he outbid me for him and made me trade him Gronkowski to get him. Absolute. Bamboozlement <laughs> made you, made you, and then what happened to Gronk? Gronk died. Uh, I Gronk feel like, stay alive. Well, I don't know. Made won, me I, trade him. You won the championship that year, didn't you? The worst no. receiving core ever. No, the year I won the championship was the year that Brian traded me Gronk. You had Gronk. Oh no! Yeah, I just. Forget. You can't remember your championship team? No, 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 no. The championship team had Jimmy Graham on it. Yeah, right. Yes, you did. It did. Jimmy Graham I remember Russell. my championship team player for player, man. Come on. Well, I remember That's that like year I remember better my because I felt like that was the best team I ever had. Right. I do remember that. And I remember I, my recap. I said, no one will ever remember if not for this email. But now we're reminding people because we, we if only we knew – We'd have a podcast five years later. I'm so excited that we have this job and push again. <laughs> talking about the podcast in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Vish. Shout out to John. Very loose. 
I'm not tight. <laughs> Unkempt. <laughs> that's great, though. That's what a great. That's what I was hoping for. That's what we hoped for. No, actually, a funny thing happened uh, at the weekend related to the podcast. But it came up somehow casually. You know, it was like, oh yeah, and we it was like, oh, we have a podcast, and it's like most people just like like look like, confused and like kind of laugh at you. Like right. Ethan kind of did, as you would expect. Yeah. But then, and then we're like, yeah, yeah, and then, and then somehow Sean alluded, like in a way that made me uncomfortable to edits we had made. He's like, yeah, you made some edits. It was like something. Oh. He's like, you edited some parts. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I changed the subject. Sean, Sean does that occasionally. I changed the subject immediately. But we didn't. It's good. It's a good they strategy. didn't pry. They didn't pry. Luckily. Well, I don't know why they would pry, but. You're, that's good. It's a good strategy to just switch, just switch it up, just straight up switch it up. <laughs> just go to that's, something new. I'm good at that. Well, I'm very paranoid yeah. about talking about other people when they are anywhere near. If you live right. a few houses down, I'm not talking about you. Except maybe I'll whisper. Right. Go into the basement. You got to be careful. Right. I don't like to make that kind of mistake. That could yeah. really mess things up. So on a podcast, it must feel like you're miles away. Then it must feel like you're miles and miles away when you're on a podcast. It does. Well, it, it feels like a different mainstay of what we do is talk about other people. So. Well, everybody understands this. Yeah. What we're doing here, everybody is in on the joke. Except yeah, Becky and Ethan. Um, well, I'm so glad that you had fun there. That sounds like fun. How late did people stay up? Did people did people go to bed early? What was it was hard, man. No, it was like 3 a.m., you know? 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Drinking whiskey, you know? Shit. Enhancing the evening in other ways. Great. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. Lot. We all did. Everyone did a good job. Everyone well behaved. I talked a lot. Other people Fantastic. talked a lot, too. A lot of a lot of yapping, and then uh, fish got us some really nice different types of croissants. Oh, fish! Delivery. And cheese croissant, almond croissant. That's how you do it. It's actually very well done. You don't need to go through the process of making eggs for everyone. Everyone's in here gross. Everyone uh, likes eggs differently anyway. Don't do that. Get no, some different croissants. A, Great yeah. job. Good job, fish. Shout out to you. So, do we think that? Um... <laughs> Do we think that at nauseum is going to stay in the top spot here? What do we think? How do you feel? Wow. You know, you know what I actually thought we could do today? Oh, in honor of at nauseum, we could do a ranking of mm. feels themselves. Insufferability. Who's we the most the insufferable? Feels. When they feel themselves, in honor of at nauseum and real king feels himself, the true <laughs> initiator of the concept. Uh, uh, real king feels himself. <laughs> that's, uh, Should we do it? No, I think that's a good way to talk about. Uh, I think that's like fair. Time. I think that's fair. Um, all right. So, in what order are we going? Front to back or back to front? Front, I think we should go front to back. I learned my lesson last week. You got to, even though it might be less funny at the bottom, you got to start at the top. Okay. So you got I'd the say, top of your list. You want me to go number one? Okay. Yes, sir. Curveball. You can have the first pick. <laughs> first pick, most insufferable when they feel themselves. I'm throwing a curveball at you because I am taking you. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. You were feeling yourself yesterday. I talked to you about our trade yesterday, and you were really feeling yourself. That's exactly what happened. That's what made me think of this. You were like, you were like, you were like, oh man, yeah, oh, sorry, Debo. You like apologized to me about Debo's injury. You're like, I didn't even know about that. And then it's you're like, funny. yeah, everybody wants support, man. Everybody wants support. The strategy, <laughs> the strategy, the strategy with you is to not say anything to you. That's the <laughs> strategy. <laughs> what do you mean after the fact? Yeah, you got to be careful. The, yeah, I knew because no, you were kind of you you like silent so you know? much. And then you were like, you know, and you were like something else. I, I was talking about, you know, I was like, you know, telling him my frustrations with AJ Brown now that you had him. And then, and then 
you were like, yeah, and what was it with C.D. Lamb? I think that, that was yeah. funny. Well, why'd you do that? that? Was, you know, yeah, you're like, why'd you do that one? <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, he's really... He's, he's really, really feeling really, himself. You know, like, Tar, you really get excited about the different players you had. It was good. So I, that was how I felt. It was like, it was basically like the fantasy football trade version of you, like, asking me how I'm so fat. Right. Um when I played ball this much. Uh, is this falling under the full of shit category? No, right? It's being <laughs> less full of shit? Is this being less full of shit or more full of shit? Uh, yeah, this is like full of shit in how you're full of yourself. Oh. Like when you feel yourself, you know, and it's it's like, it's just you were feeling good. I know, I know sometimes you get down, sometimes you get up. Well, I'm case, taking I'm taking value then. I'm taking the value. I'm gonna grab Handel here at this spot. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't think wow. Handel would fall to me, um, but here he comes, stumbling down the <laughs> down, down the drain. Insufferable. He, we haven't up. even seen him yet, and we know he's insufferable just because of his text messages. I haven't seen him. I, you know, since when he starts to talk about the football season starter, about his running backs. You know, I just I just thought I just thought it was great value. <laughs> He's lucky, was good. man, because he was going to take Dobbins. And I was going to snatch one of those guys, but instead mm-hmm. I took Dobbins because I'm desperate for Dobbins. Yeah. Anyway. Well, hey, no, not about me. Not about me. He's feeling himself. Listen, Mike, it's a pretty good team, you know? Not many holes. Jordan Love. Wow. He throws a lot of touchdowns, man. Gosh, I don't know what to say. This guy throws a lot of touchdowns. He throws like 140 yards and three touchdowns every week. What's up with that? Well, if you listen to JJ, he's bound for regression. You know, this oh. guy puts a little bit too much stock into averages, like people coming back to the mean. Oh, like, no, nah, this is annoying. <laughs> he's like, well, he's normally you throw a touchdown pass for every 180 yards, but he's doing it for 97 <laughs> yards. That's going to come back first. I'm like, yo. That's true. That's oh. true. Do you remember last year? It was about this time, and I was like, everybody's telling me to trade Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I was like, what am I going to get for him? What am I going to do? What should I do? I should have traded that dude for a fucking anything. Yeah, that was regression. They were like, he scored too many touchdowns for how many yards he's gotten, right? And and then he died. He was like completely valueless in fantasy, Ooh. like three weeks later. Waiver wire, father. dead man, dead man walking, dead man rostered, <laughs> rostered dead man. Um, so that's very good. So good player, Red right, Beach. I feel. GM. Let's just. Say. I feel good about the squad so far. You, uh, you have me. It's weird to be drafting okay. a team that I'm not on, but okay, right? That's true. I took you first. <laughs> Insufferability. <laughs> Leaf eating. Okay, I got a. Uh, you know he hasn't really, although he's three. No, he hasn't really felt himself. But I think real king feels himself. Has to be drafted next. It's been yeah. a little while because last year he had a bad team. This year, you know, I think he's just kind of happy. He was to feeling be himself even when last year he was like, I've never been selling at the deadline before. Never. never been selling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. He's saying that to you. He was trying to make you feel bad. He was like, Not like you. Well, we were trying to work out a deal, but it was like Joe Mixon involved. Like, Man, Joe Mixon's been halfway. And then Willis trades for him and he scores 50. <laughs> That's it. Magic to touch, that. man. He's like, I'm so glad. I'm just glad to be here on this team. Yeah. Treats me with so much respect. Yeah. Well, it's just a good host. That's Five it. He touches, has, makes you a martini. Yeah. yeah. He's like, here you go. Devontae has like, no problem, Mike. Thanks for having me. Yeah. 12 for 150 and two. Egg sandwich, egg, eggs, eggs on your avocado toast, man. He takes it up a notch. He's a good host. Wow. Yeah. Avocado toast with a, with a fried uh, egg. Over like light that. egg. Wow. Oh, Ooh, right. Nice. So there you go. So I'll take real King. He hasn't he hasn't felt himself in a while, but I'll always remember when he we were sitting in the pool. Josh was talking about a running back in fish. You know there are teams in this league with Lashawn McCoy and Jamal Charles on them. <laughs> that was it. That was classic. But that was the end of that. You can't talk any. If you have running backs, you better keep your mouth shut. You can only talk shit when you have a receiver and quarterback keepers. Yeah, you're running back keepers. That's gonna you watch it's out. It's gonna wrap up real quick. fast. Coming for you quick. Unless you have Devon Achan, so youthful. I'll say you wanna you wanna um you wanna do a bet on the pod right now. 
over under 500 career carries? Well, what do you mean? This guy's going to be a Hall of Famer. Okay. You so you want to so you want to take the bet? Then. Yeah, of course I want to take five hundred. Right, let's do hundred. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. You think? What do you think's gonna happen? Go look at the list of the running backs who scored fifty points in their life. Look at that list, and you're, you're gonna find five hundred career attempts is hard to get to. It took Raheem Mostert until he was thirty-one. So, well, Raheem Mostert just started playing. He was a special teamer until he was twenty-eight. <laughs> You're I'm using that example? This dude just – this dude came on. He was a third-round pick. What was Raheem Mostert's probably undrafted? Definitely undrafted. Super fast undrafted person, though. My God. This is a really, this is a really silly – NFL was different at that time. This is a really silly one for you. I'll take it. Over. Over 500 carries. Okay. He's going to get there. Virtual handshake. 2025. That's it. You think he's too small. That's you. You're like, he's too small. It's your problem. You always want the, you want the size. I think, I think they'll throw it to him more. I don't know if 500 carries thing is like a, a thing that they have planned for. He needs 50 games. That's only three, four years. Healthy. Anyway, man, I don't know. I'm just excited. So I'm just excited. You. Well, we're not we're not uh, rating, uh, you know, excitement about players on your bench. That's not what we're rating here, so. So it's my pick. I mean, I, th- I think the only the only logical decision is um, Mister Unfixable. I think it's, and you know, I I really feel solid in taking this because you can't fix it. It'll be this way forever. Um, you know, I think Ben uh, Ben feels himself too. Well, we have okay. an example. He does well. well he, I, he actually, you know, he you know, I think there was a time where he really felt himself in a way that annoyed all of us. Ooh, but now please. that doesn't. Well, he, now that okay, doesn't happen well, as much. Right. Get, oh, like he should win everything? Is that what you're talking about? He should always win? Well, no, I'm just saying like at a point, I feel like everyone maybe took some, something about Ben's success you and I took personally maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think we do that anymore. I, I will say the most satisfied feeling I've ever had in a basketball court is – Whenever I got the chance to block Ben's running one hander towards the rim, <laughs> hard to block. I mean, it's yeah, really but, far away from people. But when you do, holy shit! Do, will you block line. it from the like? Because I, I would do like the not wind guarding him. I like my hand would start like by my ass, and I would just like fling my hand up in the air, just like extend it. I don't know, Ben. You'll have to, you know, put it in the chat. You remind you remember that time I sent it to the window. Um, at that little Brooklyn half court that we used to have. Uh, oh, do you remember that guy's name? Who was that old guy with the jump shot? Who was that guy's name? Do you remember him? The old guy with the jump shot from where? At the half court in Brooklyn, the gym we used to on um, uh, the Black Hill. Yeah, what no. was his name? Sean? No. He was like, I yeah, remember guy. that guy, though. Like, you know who I'm talking about when he played. There. Oh, I remember Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was. He didn't have a great jump shot, but he. But he was good, right? He's he a good baller. He said to me when I missed a jump shot once, he was like, "Damn, usually you eat those." I was like, <laughs> "That's the greatest compliment ever. Thank you. Please say that again." <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way to put it, man. I do eat those jumpers. Shout out to Sean. <laughs> Shout out to Levi. Remember Levi? He's a good ball player too. Yeah, that was a fun time. Right, I do remember. Yeah, he was like one of those like. Uh, Good athlete, like didn't have his whole. Right, he didn't like really have his whole like stuff under control. He was kind of like Tucker. Yeah, Tucker sweated him. Like good athlete, Tucker. like a little sl- like, Tucker really was a good ball player, like in his weird way. Right, all a weird jumper, such a weird jump shot. <laughs> Went in a lot though. Yeah, accurate accuracy. Um, shout out to Tucker. Um, all right, so you're up, man. What you got next? I don't know. The rest of the list is kind of, yeah, as far as this goes. It's not that good in terms of, like, the insufferability is going down. Sean, yeah. in fact, will be my next pick. Sean can be insufferable. Even yesterday no. when I spoke to him, he was also mad about how you were talking about the trade. He told me he wanted to send yeah. you an angry text. He was like, you guys are saying something about Eckler being injured, and I just wanted to 
thank Charlie for Keenan Allen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he was like, my team's pretty good. I think my team's my team's pretty good. But his team does look good though. When you when you yeah. look at the projections, he's got a little McCaffrey, Eckler, Anthony yeah. Richardson, uh, Keenan Let's Allen. Ooh, one, oh, he's projecting one forty one. Holy shit! Oh my god! Last time was in Christian McCaffrey. Oh, and Eckler is only projecting eleven right now. He's going to be back up to fourteen, fifteen when he's uh, when he's in there. You know, it's like Christian yeah. McCaffrey spent his whole life just project. Just that's half the reason I want Christian McCaffrey just for the projection. Let me get let me get that projection in my life, man. This dude projects better than most quarterbacks. Oh, and we got amazing. Brian is projecting one thirteen. Ooh, this is wait. <laughs> oh Dude, man, he's yeah. talking about a sad guy. He's not insufferable now. No, that's what I mean. Matt Breida. That's what he did. He was holding Andy oh. Dalton. Just gotta hold that Andy Dalton. Oh, just, in, just in case. <laughs> just in case. I mean, listen, he's very productive, but then that's over. It seems like it. So um, I'm thinking Johnny does get insufferable. Okay. Should be noted. No, I think that is very good value. You might not have experienced it, but I, I see it. And he's zero and three. If you're zero and three and you're insufferable, just like you, you were one and two talking to me about your trade. That's a good team. Imagine team what sucks. you guys are going to do if you start winning. Yeah. Oof. Well, my team sucks now. I think. I think I've severely fucked it up. I should have just. I drafted uh, Debo and Keenan Allen. Should have just kept them. As it turns out. But why don't? Yeah. Why are you sad about AJ Brown? I'm not. I love him. I'm very excited to see him. Debo and AJ Brown, both cool. So you know, neither yeah. of us can be mad. It's cool, except cool one of them doesn't play. Right. Then one can be mad at the other. All right. So I mean, I guess I'll have to take you next because I can't okay. let you fall too far down the list. Not here. that insufferable, though. Pretty I normal. mean, I don't know the the video, the immediate video. Following when I won the, the championship, championship was that's, that's, not insufferable. That was it was good. funny, but like, man, when you're on the the other end of this narrow championship loss, very difficult to stomach. Um, <laughs> I did, I did honor you in that video because that's the thing you have to remember when you do something like that. The person yeah. who you beat is going to be really pissed. Everybody yeah. else probably. Who cares? Like they've moved on and they're just happy to be entertained. The person yep. who you beat is going to be offended. But no, to this day, no championship video. And I have to say, you guys got to step it up. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, but that wasn't really insufferable. It's fair. It's good value for you, I guess. And we really are getting that. People left aren't insufferable. No. And I mean, I'm going to take – it's hard now because no one's insufferable. Brian is just sad. We can't mm. take Brian. But he gets a little insufferable, though. Does he? So I'm going to take him, actually. I am. When okay. he's good, he's like, he's like, oh, man, I probably should have had chips in this league. Oh. It's like a little defiant. Like, mm. So, you know, I think like – but it's just been a little while because now he's really not having a good time. Right. He had an okay team last year or two, last couple, but you know he's had some some ups and downs lately. Whereas when he came into the lead, we might not remember a little bit of stuff. He had a lot of success early on, even though he didn't get that ring. Oh, he was close to a ring, though. He really was. <sighs> One Darren close. Sproles, Drew Brees touchdown away, man. Oh man, close as you can yeah. get. Other than you, you got closer, but you have. Oh. Oh my God! Chris Doug Carson. Baldwin tackled at the one. Oh my God! Right. And then if I just and if I just play the other kicker, we won't rehash. It's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> lean into it. Just lean into it. <laughs> um, so I guess that leaves me with Sam. I think the least insufferable of all. Mm. Shout out to well, Sam. he's also not had that much success lately. So no disrespect to Sam, but you know you got to no, see someone. He was not <laughs> he was not insufferable though when he was winning. No, you didn't I'll take the value with Willits, though. Willits not a great loser. A great winner. Great winner. Terrible loser. <laughs> really not a good one. He's losing like he's two and one now, you know. 
when he's losing, Ooh. he started that season and he still won points and he had a good year, but he started like 0 4. He was he was pissed yeah. all the time. He's just walking around mad. Maybe I should just maybe I should just do this less. Maybe you know I just do this too much. <laughs> I can't do this. Why do I do this to do myself? This to myself. <laughs> I hate this shit. People say I hate this shit. That's like they really are mad. Like Brian does that too. Hate this stupid shit. So I guess he's insufferable. I blew it. He's I I took the wrong pick. He's insufferable in losing. Right. So it's still insufferable. But it's not it's not in the feels himself category. Not as good. Right. Doesn't really apply, I guess. So, you know, hard to say. At the end, we didn't get that much insufferability, but we both got value some, some value at the top. Value at the top. I agree. I agree. A lot of value. For me especially. Can't believe you yeah. let me slip to you. I had the first pick. You let you slip to me? <laughs> I let Handel. You Bell. let no. you slip I, to me. Handel absolutely <laughs> should be the first pick of the draft. I know you just wanted to pull me out into the into the open so you could insult me for everybody, but <laughs> Uh, I'll take the value. <laughs> I will take the value. Take that, that. I mean, I do have. Wait, I have you and Fish. Yeah, that's a pretty good squad. I have to say, pretty good team. It is really. Like, how are you? How are you? So fat. All that ball you play is <laughs> still so fat. It's, all right. Just for the record, this is taken out of context. This is the wrong context. I was trying to <laughs> to. Give him positive vibes because he was calling himself that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that that's – Yeah, I don't that's know. the way that's it was, the story man. Listen, you guys, you guys can think whatever you like. I'm at peace with it. I know what happened. This is that something was Skinny that Skinny Charlie 1.0, oh, man. That was Skinny Charlie 2.0, oh, a little more mature. Yeah, Still feels humble. himself on occasion. Sam Laporta. But well, Skinny I like Charlie 1.0. Oh. Although I would like to point out uh, – I made this joke to you yesterday, but I'm – Put it here in the public. His picture, he looks like a middle school PE teacher. That's, you know, <laughs> had a little too much to eat. He looks like he teaches middle school physics. Yeah. So he looks Something like Something about being a gym teacher is uh, funny. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm friendly with a gym teacher in my town. Friendly. But, you know, it's a funny thing to be. A little bit. No disrespect to the gym teachers out there. Shout out to the gym teachers. Really. Holler at the gym teachers. I think uh, it's, a, it's a very nice part of... Is that uh, how we know that we're, we should end? I think we so. start hollering at the gym teachers? Yeah, I think that's that's the completion stage. You're getting <laughs> sick of reviewing the matchups? Yeah. Next I week, I mean, sometimes you go heavy on the football. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you go heavy on the end. Sometimes you don't. Maybe this one's not so tight either. Sean will tell us. Only time will tell. Sean's review. Time will tell. Uh, next week, rehash. Oh, Bonus I'd also season. like to say you're welcome. Rehash. We should rehash the trades, too. Yeah, you go a little deep on the football next week. Sean, for your projection, you're welcome. You help the projection. Did he, it's did hard he draft, when the guys out there. Did he draft those. Alexander Madison and Joe Mixon? He did back to back, man. Okay. All right. Well, at least we know that his good team was not his doing. It was by accident and fell into it. So <laughs> you're welcome. He's be Sean. insulted by that. Good man. Right, projected so. to win by 28. That is just. It is hard. To, how do you guaranteed get loss? Guaranteed loss. <laughs> oh my god. Really, McCat? No, Eckler projects for 16, dude. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, I looked at the wrong thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we looking at the wrong player. No, I have <laughs> a, I have a different uh, projection in here. I don't know if you use fantasy pros. Are you looking at your own all. personal projection spreadsheet? No, fantasy pros. And I put it alongside. No, I don't use that garbage. Like That's lame and pedestrian bullshit. Not, Not true. Really. Not true. You, you have to learn, learn how to stuff. use the tools. You don't like the tools <laughs> use you. Mm-hmm. I got my own tools. I got different tools, and I would never say them yeah. in public. Like trading like franchise said. players. <laughs> That's not uh, a tool, tool. Matt. <laughs> well, you keep <laughs> deploying that is an it year after year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't used to trade them. I would just release them yeah. after the year ended. <laughs> Cut them. <laughs> Last franchise player who made it the whole year and came back, Andrew Luck. 
R.I.P. Wow. I read an article about him. He's trying to be a coach. Ugh. I think maybe he should have mm. kept playing football. I think he probably feels that way, but he can never admit it. Yeah, it's one of those. Going things, back man. to Stanford grad school. That's what he's doing to be a coach. Why does he need grad school to be a coach? <laughs> what? Richest dude in grad school ever, fifty million dollars. Oh, These white people always oh, going to school, man. <laughs> oh, get another degree. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have a lot of money, it's like really is like what a rich person who's confused about. He's like, I don't know what to do now. He has to go to school. I have a lot of money. Well, shout out to them. Still playing. Shout out like to 32. People. Shout out to the rich white people going back to school. Yeah, shout out. We, you got to shout hey. everybody out. Yeah, shout out. Holler at them all. Well, um, shout out to you for taking me first in the draft. Appreciate it. Hey, man. Good team I got. We will share. Yeah, you the got the bad thing. You should share our list. Sure. Yeah, I'm a project high. Yeah, high yeah. 140 ability projection. projections. 141 didn't used to be high these days. A little skimpy. They're a little skimpy with the projections this year. You know, this. Mm. All right, Paul, hey. about this. This was this was great. I'm so happy for you and your your team. Congratulations, you win. And uh, are we gonna do good luck this weekend, to everybody. Thank you. Yeah, good luck Especially to everybody you, out Sean. there. Sean, with all those players Hopefully that aren't yours. Debo Samuel's healthy. I'm going to have to be real mad. Debo's not healthy. I'm going to tell you, I hate this shit. Debo. I know. That was – I didn't know it was a knee thing, too. If you look back, it was just a rib thing at first. I yes, I did look. I know I you did look back. Of course. I what think did he know? Fun. When did he know it? I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Well, no, I, you know, that's what I got depth for, man. It's no problem. I got a lot of targets to go around on my team. Targets are where it's at, man. That's it. You got to earn your targets. All right, man. This was good. Let's call it. All about. But I love you. Great work. Love you too, man. Nice job. Thank you.